Hello and welcome to this edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. On today's show, we're going to focus on the theme that we started on our last show, and that's spring household overhauls, both inside and out. Right, and don't forget the car, because it's been blasted by winter, so we want to have a spring cleaning for that, too. We've got you covered all over the house, including your outdoor living space. Mm -hmm. For example, a deck, or ooh, maybe even a gazebo. I like it. And we have something for your inside space, specifically your sleeping space. How about a bed makeover on a budget? We're even going to refresh your driveway today. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. Refresh your driveway. Mm -hmm. All right, so stick around and see it all right now on Designing Spaces. Wouldn't it be great if we could build our own wooden deck or maybe even that beautiful gazebo to set off that backyard landscaping? All right, I'm already picturing backyard barbecues and parties and lazy Sundays. Okay, where do I start? How do I design this? Okay, I think we have the answer to both of those quick questions <laughs> right now in Designing Spaces. Watch this. Wow, this is a beautiful backyard, but there's just one thing missing, a deck, a place where you can entertain, barbecue, or just relax. So what's stopping you? Well, the obvious, of course. How do you get started? Meet our homeowners, Rob and Michelle. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah. So you've never tackled a project like this before, but I bet you're pretty excited about the prospect. Yeah, absolutely. What made you guys decide to finally get started on this? Well, we struggled with where to begin. We had so many questions. How do you design a deck? And how much will it cost? What materials do we need? Well, Big Hammer was a big help. Whoa, Big Hammer? That sounds pretty impressive. What is that? Well, it's a web-based deck designer that we use to help us at almost every point. Well, we'd love to find out more, so Designing Spaces has invited an expert to walk us through the process. So while you guys are out shopping for your supplies, we're going to meet Katie Saucedo, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Great. Okay, Katie, so let's start with the basics. What we need is a deck, and what we have right now is a big, blank, beautiful backyard. So what steps do we need to take? Well, the first step is your vision, and you're going to want to decide what kind of a deck do you want. Do you want a one-tier deck? Do you want a two-tier deck? And then probably the next step that I would take is what kind of wood is that deck going to be built of? What kind of finishes? What kind of railings? And then you can go so far as to choose how many steps the deck is going to have. Are you going to insert a hot tub or perhaps a pool even? And then my favorite feature is you can upload an actual image of your home and attach the deck to your house. And then there's a feature that will spin your home and the deck around so that you can see it in 3D and really get a feel for how that deck's going to look. There's patio furniture that you can put onto the deck. There are grills and fire pits because a lot of people think, I need a deck this size. And then once you put that patio furniture on there, they realize they don't have enough space. So simply by clicking the mouse, you can make your deck larger. You can design around the deck. You can include trees and bushes. That way, if someone else is doing the information for you, they really get an idea as to what you want. That's really cool. So what I'm going to do is go on your website, and if I want to design it from scratch, I can, but I can also choose from templates? You can. There are several templates to choose from based on the size and the shape of your deck. So if I want a square, I can pick a square or a rectangle. You can, you can. And there's even some inserts for your hot tub or if you'd like a pool, the software will work with you. Well, that's really cool. So once I design my deck and I'm pretty happy with a few different designs, am I able to share it with family or friends? You can. And the decks are beautiful, but they're also functional. So if you aren't building the deck yourself, you can actually send the plans to your builder and he can take it from there. Is this something that's primarily used by do-it-yourselfers? It's actually used by more retailers and home and improvement stores, builders, than any other software like it. I'm sure that a lot of viewers right now are thinking, is it expensive to use the software on BigHammer.com? There's actually no charge associated with the designing process. You can log on to our site and use the software at no cost. Design as many decks as you like. Let your imagination run wild. Wow, that's great. 
Now, all states have different building codes and permits, so what does the do-it-yourselfer need to know? Well, one of the most useful features of our software is that once the designing process is complete, you simply hit print all. It will print not only a shopping list that you can take to your local home improvement store, but it will print out the information you need to take to your county so that you can acquire those permits and begin the building process. That's great. So by a shopping list, you mean I'm going to get everything that I need in one shopping trip and I'm not going to have to keep running back to the store. Everything, down to the very last nail. That is great, and I bet that's going to save a lot of money. It will. That is wonderful. So, Katie, where can our viewers get more information? Just go to BigHammer.com. That's great. Katie, thanks again for being on Designing Spaces. Thank you, Andy. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to go check on Rob and Michelle and see how they're coming All along. All right. So I guess there's just one last thing. Are you guys ready to get started? We are. Now we have a plan for design and action that fits our budget. <laughs> we just know this is going to be the deck that we dreamed about. That's awesome. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Designing Spaces would like to thank Katie Saucedo and, of course, our homeowners. I just know that they're going to build a deck that's going to give them years of family fun. If you'd like to see this part of the show again, you can always log on to designingspaces.tv, where we'll also provide a link to Big Hammer. For Designing Spaces, I'm Andy Tillis. You know, things are really starting to shape up. Mm -hmm. We've got the driveway covered, the deck, even the car. That's right. So what do we have next? Next? Why, you have something else? Oh, no. I don't. You can relax. We're out of time. Oh, okay. Well, then you're just going to have to watch for us on the next Designing Spaces, which is coming very soon. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.